it is a toasty one today again uh, we got a busy 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 Saturday uh, Barbie movie in the morning Olive is going with Seren to go see Elemental something like that uh, quick power nap and then we got church in the afternoon or evening and uh, Olive wants to go a little bit early to play Uno with her friends in the cafeteria at church and it's not a bad thing, at least she's staying out of trouble. You're gonna go see the Barbie movie. I'm gonna see Elemental. Yep. It's gonna make me go mental. And just to make my day, we get to go pick up all of his boyfriend. Yay! Yeah, so excited, and I get to go sit and watch the Barbie movie. Yay! Come on. Bye, Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah? What do you think the movie's gonna be like? Barbie. Okay. <laughs> You think it's gonna be funny? Yeah. Grown up? No. No? It's not supposed to be a adult movie, it's not supposed to be a kid movie. Ooh, that's not what I heard. That's what it is. Okay. She literally had an interview about it. Oh, really? Yeah. What did you think of the Barbie movie? I thought it was good, but sometimes it got a little cringy, and I think it was mostly an adult movie. Was it what you thought? No, not at all. No. Not one bit. What was your favorite part? The Ken song. Or oh, that's part where Sasha loves her. Spoiler, sorry. Oh, that I was. It was seriously the worst movie I have ever seen. Uh, he said it was worse than The Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. He yes. hated that movie. Thank God for Ryan Gosling. Uh, he, he was the lone bright spot. After movie, getting Chick Fil A. Number three, call count. Okay, and we'll do mac and cheese. And what drink for you? All right, movie review time. What'd you um, see? Saw Elemental. Um, I give it um, seven point one. What was it about? Uh, so you, huh? What was it about? Um, it was this fire girl and then this water guy and they were like, we can't mix and then they like touch tips of their fingers. Wait, they touch tips? Like, can you can't? Fingers. Fingers. Oh. And then... <laughs> I said that in the middle of the movie. I was like, they touch tips. What do you give it? Three out of ten. Three out of ten with the tip touching, seven out of ten, right? Eight. All right. Eight. All right, good. So, um, today? was a movie day. You went to go see Barbie. I, I did. went to go see Elemental. I did. And then we went to church, which was not what I expected. <laughs> this was, <laughs> I have been to many, many a church service in my life. Mm -hmm. And this was by far the best. Uh, so <laughs> it's movie theme anyhow, but uh, they played freaking Top Gun Maverick at church. <laughs> talking about moving or letting go of burdens that eh, good life story it does always make me laugh how church finds things like that to tie it into but i got to watch top gun at church come on someone's heart had to have been racing when you heard that music start um when i was a, a child top gun was my all-time favorite movie and this new top gun released last year picks up 30 years after the original yeah and then I learned about being obedient to parents and just honoring your parents overall. And most importantly, Riley finally got to ride on the golf cart. <laughs> Okay. 
Sorry, put it down. Put Reagan down. Put Reagan uh, down. Hey, she stole my chair. She was down here. We used to have these really cool raised plates. And then you would make your build off of here. Yeah. Yeah. I miss those plates. Plus, see? You and me, same page. So I was thinking, I drew it up. What if... He skibbles a lot in his drawing, so if you don't get it, <laughs> there's no reason why. Oh, rude. Okay. So, what if we made our own little plate, our own little base, and we could kind of build off of that? Is that a tiny house? Yeah, so what I wanted to do is I, I kind of pictured it like the Kakariko village or the Hatino village in Zelda. I, I pictured it as in like, bow down to pe peasants. Okay. Like a castle. Oh, like a castle. Yeah. Well, I thought it would be cool. What if we had like a small little fishing town? Because you know in Zelda, they all have their own tiny little houses. They're very simple. <laughs> no? I'm laughing at you. Why? Because <laughs> she said fishing. I don't know why I'm laughing. <laughs> so, no, but I thought, and I don't know if the true Lego people will get mad at us for this. Lego people. Yeah, the real, like, the, you know, the hardcore builders. Oh, yeah, they'll, they'll be really mad at us. Okay, so if we did something like this. Why do we have to use wood? Well, I was going to use MDF. Let me see that plate right there, that base plate. We have lots yeah. of cool ones. So, and then we can make it where it's set right in here. Can we, like, use actual Legos and no wood? Okay. Okay, listen. Not really. Right. No, so what if we had it so it's set like in here? Oh. And then we could raise it so it's set a little further back too mm -hmm. and build off of that. Make a tiny little village. Yeah. We don't really make these anymore. Mm -hmm. We have lots of cool ones. Like this guy. Okay, so even if we didn't look. And we have a basic one. Oh, yeah. That's where you can buy the flat ones. So if we do it like this, you see, we can put the small one. I'm getting a paper cut. Okay, and then like raise it. And then you can do your build mm -hmm. through a small little city. We'll have to argue, I guess, because I like the fishing town. You like the castle? I'm, I'm agreeing with you with the tiny houses. Okay, well, that, hey, that's a place to start, right? I'm agreeing with the tiny little houses and then like a big castle right here. Okay, top, I'm sure we can sketch it out. Also, well, because that's what I saw. Okay, so you like the castle up top? Yeah. Is that where you're gonna live? Of we course. made Riley her own little Lego. And the key lock. I fashioned it after uh, when the where the wild things came out, and I took a little Ewok, drilled through it, and put her little head in there. Isn't she cute? Oh, we also came across probably. a ton of old ones too. Captain Redbeard. Any of you kids um, from the 80s remember him? Gale Storms. Gale Storm. Look at OG Pirates. These guys still have... OG Jenny. OG Jenny. Jenny Weasley. I don't know if there's anyone better than the old Blacktron. Just that saw. <laughs> hey, I remember when that came out. It was a Christmas, I think, of fourth grade. The old forest guys. Mm -hmm. So I was really excited about that idea we had for the, uh, the Lego 
platform. I want to just start thumbnailing it. So this is one of the bigger Lego bases. Platforms, whatever you call them. And then since we wanted to start kind of with the water, I really want to make sure we've got enough room. Our boat to at least dock, I guess. Here. And then we want to make the houses small. Nice and tiny, just very simplistic. They have a bed, maybe a sink. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, but six. That is way too small. This will be a decent sized house. I both want to get out of a small little dock to get on the water. We can even bump him back a little bit. Oh, he has a walkway. This guy back here. So we actually have room for four houses, really, because we could almost have a family one right here. And then from there, we go up. Ah! no need for the background to be any taller than that. Now we don't want it just to look like a complete rectangle. But we want to give it some blocking mountains. It'll look something like this. We'll have a house here, right off the water. We'll use this for now. It's probably gonna be a little bit bigger. We'll have a house here. One here. And then the house that can fit maybe like two or three people here. We're gonna start. This will actually come out to. I want to make it look 3D. And I may want to think about maybe putting a walkway here, up, and in this part we'll start back. And we'll have a bar restaurant on top. Uh, life, uh, life moves so fast. Uh, two girls in sports, and uh, school's starting. Um, all is gonna be in eighth grade. It's nuts. Uh, I've been making an effort. Um, I know my folks aren't gonna be around forever uh, to, to try to talk to them a little more and uh, even visit. So, even if it's something stupid like driving by and see my mom at work, uh, we, we've been trying to drop in. And we did today. It was funny because my dad shows up and he just cracks me up. But it was a good end of the week. And uh, I figure I'd finish it too with a, a little work in the garage on our little Lego project. All right, so first off, hi. Um, second off, the Bengals are coming to Arizona in October. So I'm trying to beg my parents to give me tickets so I can go see my husband, Joe Burrow. Cause top secretly, I'm Olivia Burrow guys. <laughs> and then uh, then we're gonna go say hi to my grandma really quick. How you doing? Let's see. Conducting secret business in here. No. Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> 
grew up again. <laughs> she got taller. Oh, hi. You want to see Grandma in a pissed mood? Here she is. I never do I never spend that kind of money on stuff. I thought they had to uh, come waddling in. I thought they were. Thank uh, you. But you know, I thought you weren't allowed in the store. <laughs> I'll give Grandpa a hug. <laughs> but, oh, uh, I've been mean, kind of, oh. honey, she grew. She grew huh? since I've seen her last. Oh, She's taller. I did it. You grew. <laughs> I can see it. You Have grew. Have you ever heard of shoes?